Hello everyone, I'm Oleksi and in this video I will show you something that you probably have never seen, so please have patience. You will not regret hearing this story about love, betrayal, disappointment and anger. This story begins in the basement of one of hundreds of Ukrainian biolaboratories. There, a special SSD Volodya was on sale, 500 GB drive for only 10 dollars. Besides of custom case, it also has a custom firmware, which makes this disk Volodya even in the BIOS, which is insane. Uh, but I say that it's special not because of it, uh, but because of its dying and you need to refresh it from time to time. But this is just a mere price for the fact you're getting so custom SSD with the soul of its creator. Being inspired by Volodya, I decided to create my own custom SSD drive in honor of Hello Kitty. Just look how cute she is! If you think I'm insane, you just haven't watched this video till the end. Do you remember this video of mine where I showed you this mini computer which had unsoldered MSATA port for which I bought this wonderful SSD drive, which of course I could only stick in my ass. So first thing we need to do is to close two contacts with a paper clip or something similar and insert it in the computer through USB pocket like this, and it should have specific controllers, but this isn't really a guide, the guide will be in the description if this video will get some views. Uh, so it didn't work the first time and this nameless SSD died because I never found the necessary firmware and decided to flash some crap on it and obviously it died after that. You think I surrender it? Of course not. I decided to buy Kingston A400 SSD on 240GB and just look at these awful screws. No, I haven't a suitable screwdriver and no, I will not buy it. I like joking that I'm not disassembling tech, but dismembering it, in this case, it's not even a joke, Kingston. Once you know your controller, you can try searching for MP tools for it. If you think this is easy, no, be prepared to scroll through Russian and Chinese forums where you wouldn't be able to understand any letter, not even words. But even if you found it, you still cannot be sure that there you will find a suitable firmware. For example, for the controller of my previous SSD, there were like around 30 of different MP tools and none of them fits. This time I was almost sure that the firmware will suit, but I needed to change some values by editing template. The problem was that in my specific version, there were some values that didn't want to change, so I spent another 10 minutes to find any file that could be edited in Node to achieve my goal. And here we go, after the operation was failed successfully, that means that the program said failed, but actually it done its job. This Kingston A400 turned to Kitty's drive with cute firmware and cute serial number and cute... Uh, wait, a case. I decided to print it on my not properly calibrated Ender 3 Pro, I will leave this model in the description if someone needs it, you can edit it, I will leave a Fusion version 2. Note that this poor case was printed only for my board. The model is done pretty well and accurate, although the printing quality is insanely bad, maybe one day I will tell you why I still have so bad printer. A couple of little changes and we are ready to connect it to our computer along with the other Kingston A400. Despite having the same name, Kingston A400 is famous for being very random. I will not spend your time and will tell you right away. That Kingston that I used for Kitty works much worse and that is not a problem of firmware, that is the problem of Kingston. It's a very huge theme, I will not touch it here, just know that buying Kingston SSD you will never know which one you will get, the one that works fine and the one that works like Kitty SSD. By the way, this is how Kitty looks in BIOS. Cute. If you were attentive enough, you could see that Kitty got 16 GB of additional memory. And uh, no, I don't know from where, and uh, no, they are 99% not working. Write in the comments what do you think about this video, the quality, the idea and so on and so forth. It will be really interesting to read and it's, it's the only thing is why I am recording this video is to read comments actually. And don't forget to check my other videos. 